What's up, Geeksters? It's me, Omar, from Geekster Labs, with my uh, little assistant here, Binks. And today we'll be talking about a product that was sent to us free for review from OWC, and it's the OWC Thunderbolt 3 Dock. Now, I've been using this dock with my MacBook Pro, but this also works with Windows machines as well. And so probably the biggest thing that you're going to be asking yourself is, why would I need to buy a Thunderbolt 3 dock that retails for $300, like this one right now, when I could easily buy just a $50 little USB dongle hub type of thing for your MacBook Pro or for your Windows device, Windows computer? And the answer to that question is very simple. It's power. Now, if you're like me, you've probably been doing working from home and using a lot more peripherals and things like webcams, USB microphones, hard drives, and you will not be able to plug in lots of powered devices into this hub and go into your, for my instance, my MacBook Pro, it will not power them. You will actually get an error message on your MacBook telling you it cannot power all the devices plugged into the hub. So that's where the benefit of the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock comes in play because it actually provides 85 watts of power. So it'll power all of your devices with more to spare. It can even charge up your MacBook or your laptop, your Windows laptop through Thunderbolt 3. So we're gonna talk about what comes included in the box with this product. We'll talk about the ports. There's 14 different ports available on this device. And we'll talk about some of the specs and how my experience has been while using the OWC Thunderbolt 3 dock with my MacBook Pro. So without further ado, let's get to the review. So included with this is a power supply, so it has the AC adapter, and they do also include a Thunderbolt 3 cable. It's an 18 inch long cable, so it should be long enough for you to fit it and be able to have it reach to your device, your laptop that you're using with it. So when it comes to the housing of this dock itself, the chassis around it is aluminum, and the top and bottom covers are polycarbonate, so they're plastic. So it has a really nice, sharp look to it. It looks pretty slick. It's low profile, it's only an inch thick, and it, it doesn't get and it doesn't get super hot either while you're using it. It does warm up, but does not get super super hot. It's about nine inches wide and about three and a half inches deep. And like I said, only one inch thick, so it's really easy to kind of slip, hide underneath your laptop, like I have here under my MacBook. Kind of keep it tucked out of the way, and it has a few ports in the front that are accessible. Most of the ports are on the back of it. And speaking of ports, let's take a closer look, and I'm going to show you all of the 14 ports that are available on this dock. So on the front of the dock, we have five ports that are easily accessible. And so from left to right, we have first off the micro SD card slot, which obviously you use with micro SDs. Next to that, we have the SD card slot. And next to that, we have the audio port. So this is actually a combo audio port, it's a 3.5 millimeter. And so you can use this obviously with headphones, but you can also use it with headsets and even microphones as well. And next to that, we have a USB 3.1 Gen 1 port. And so you can use this to connect compatible like USB devices via the USB type A connector. And then next to that, we have, this is not a Thunderbolt, this is actually a USB type 3 type C port. And you can connect compatible USB devices via the type C connector. So you can charge up devices with this and you can also connect things to it as well. So that is a USB type C, it is not a Thunderbolt on the front. Now getting to the back of the dock, we have all the additional ports. So starting from left to right, we have four USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports. You can connect additional USB devices via like an A-type connector here. And the left port is, the left most port is the high power port. And so this is a, provides a little additional power in case you need to charge power something that requires more power, like the Apple iPads. These ports are also otherwise identical to the USB type 3.1 Gen 1 ports that are located on the front of the, of the dock that we just showed you. Next to that, we have a digital audio port, and this is an SPDIF. And this is only output, and so you can connect this to like, connect it to like a sound bar or speakers or whatever you have that, that connects for audio using this type of port. Next to that, we have the Gigabit Ethernet port. You can connect to your Ethernet cable here for internet. Next, we have our Thunderbolt 3 ports, and there's only two of them on this dock right here. So the one on the right is actually the one that you would use to connect it to the host, so it connects to your laptop. And this is what will allow you to have all the devices that are plugged into the dock connect to the laptop and it'll actually also power your laptop as well. So that's what I'm using right now is to using this to power my, my laptop is just through this one Thunderbolt 3 port. Now the Thunderbolt 3 uh, port on the left is an interesting connection because you can actually connect extra Thunderbolt 3 devices to this through that one port. So you can daisy chain up to five, up to five devices plus a display. I'm actually using that Thunderbolt display to connect my 5K display to my laptop or from my laptop. That's what I'm using that for. But if you need it, if you have, need additional Thunderbolt 3 ports, you can actually, like I said, you can have a little daisy chain connected to there and you can have a, multiple devices. Uh, I've been using a, Mac, a MacBook uh, Pro with four US Thunderbolt ports on it. 
So for me, I don't really need to because I have three additional ports besides the one I'm actually using with the dock. But if you have like my other personal laptop is a MacBook 13 inch, but it only has two Thunderbolt ports. So if I'm using this dock with that computer, I only have one available Thunderbolt port, which is kind of puts me in a pickle because then I have to connect other things to that one that one device. But using this dock, like I said, you could daisy chain it with five devices and you can have a lot more Thunderbolt 3 connectivity if you need that. Next to that, we have the mini display port, and this is obviously what you would connect your display, your monitor to, and it supports display port 1.2. And so actually with this dock, you can actually connect two, you can connect two 4K displays or one 5K display like I'm doing now. And last but not least, we have the DC power input. And so this is what you will connect the included power supply to. And this is what powers the whole thing. And like I said, this will allow you to use multiple different peripherals that require power like USB mics, USB, webcams, hard drives, things like that. All of that power will be drawn from here and up to 85 watts, which is really awesome. So overall, my experience with the dock has been awesome. The only downside that I can think about it is if you need a security slot, like if you wanted to tie it down or you could be using a public place, there is no security slot on this. So people could technically walk off with it because you can't tie it down or secure it to anything. That's not really a big deal for me because I'm using it at home. And I'm not really worried about that. The, uh, the only other thing too is it does not feature HDMI. So if you want to use a monitor that isn't Thunderbolt, because this monitor I'm using now is actually Thunderbolt, which connects to the dock. But if you have any, uh, a, a different uh, type of monitor, you'll have to use an adapter to be able to hook it into here using HDMI. And the fact that it only has one addition, one actual US Thunderbolt 3 port, because the other one, like I said, has to connect to the laptop. That's what it connects the dock to the laptop. So the only fact that we have one, one of those ports is kind of a bummer. But in my particular like scenario that I have here, I don't need any more Thunderbolt 3 ports because like I said, I have three additional ones on my MacBook Pro. Not important to me, but maybe something you guys would want to have. And so I just want to make sure I brought that to your attention. Overall, my experience with this dock has been perfect. I love it, have no complaints whatsoever. It's nice and slim. If it's right underneath my laptop, tucked away, I never have to think about it. It is so convenient to just be able to like come home from work when I have to go into the office plug one little port and everything is there. I have my internet, I have my power, I have my webcam, I have my monitor, everything is going straight into there. It's so convenient and when I'm done, I can unplug it, put it back in the bag and I don't have to unplug a bunch of different things. So it's really awesome. It's been really nice having it in my office setup uh, at home. And I think you guys will find it to be very handy as well. It does retail for quite a bit, $300, but that's kind of what you're gonna have to pay for these types of docks, especially Thunderbolt 3. They're just gonna be in a higher price range, but I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. It doesn't overheat, No, have no issues whatsoever. Everything I've plugged into it has worked totally fine, so no complaints for me. So if you guys are interested in purchasing one of these, I'll put the link down below in the description to make that really easy to find. If you wanna check out some of my other videos, you can click over here. I got two clips you can click on, they're right on top of the little Binksy. And if you wanna to subscribe to my YouTube channel, make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they drop on my channel. And we will see you in the next video review.